if you want to love God, that love will be expressed and will be manifested in the way you love people. So we cannot talk about love, any kind of love, without talking about loving people. Actually, the test for your love is on how much you love people. It is by your attitude and relationship and love for people that we actually know how much you love God. So let's look at one of the scriptures here that I prepared for you. First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4. I would like to read um, verses 7 yeah, to 8. It says here, Below, Beloved, let us love one another. So he's talking about loving your neighbor. And because he's talking about beloved, so we could say he's talking about the Christians here. So he's talking about Christians. Let us love one another. So let's start this love journey by loving one another. Let's start loving our family members. Let's start loving our Christian brothers. Let's start loving, um, you know, our relatives. Let's start loving our people in our city. Let's start loving people who are really close by us. You know, sometimes some people find it easy to love people who are far from them, but they cannot love people who are close to them. And that is understandable because people who are close to you are the ones who irritate you. People who are close to you are the ones who provoke you sometimes. People who are close to you are the ones who are the most difficult to love. And uh, I remember when I went to America, the African-Americans used to talk about not doing foreign missions. And the reason they give for not doing foreign missions is that we have a lot of needy people in our neighborhood and in our in downtown uh, atlanta or seattle or dallas that we have a lot of people in downtown that needs love and they always express to me that they don't understand these white american christians that can that don't reach out to their fellow brothers that are black africans in the neighborhood that you are not reaching out to africans Af african americans who are living amidst and among you here but you are going to Africa to love Africans that are in Africa. What kind of love is that? That you've got to love people, African Americans, or people like you, or the needy in your downtown before you think of loving people you never saw before. So, like, that's what the Bible is trying to say here. So, if you want to talk about love for your neighbor, let it start from your Jerusalem and Samaria. Let it start from your neighbor. Let it start from your parents. Let it start from your family members, your family, from your brothers and sisters. So, to really love, you cannot say you love people in the church when you cannot say when you cannot even love your brothers and your siblings in the family. You cannot say you love God and you go to church to express, to express love for brothers and sisters when you don't even talk to your mother or to your brother or to your sister in your family, to your wife, to your husband. When you don't have love to people who are closest to you and you are going to try to show forth some love over there. I mean, it's like deception. That is what God doesn't like. It is hypocrisy. 